Hello, hello, my dear students. Good evening. Good evening, class. Hello. Hello, Jami. Hello, Violeta. Hello, teacher. How are you today? ¿Cómo están? How are you today? Are you fine? Are you tired? Are you excited? Are you sad? How are you today? Hello. Hello. Wendita, how are you? Well, it is a pleasure to have you here for sure in this or this is our final session of the module, right? Nuestra final, nuestra sesión final del módulo. And for sure, we're going to have the opportunity to practice and share a little bit. I am going to share a little bit with you on the final topic for Ken and Kent, right? Abilities and talents. I send you an exam. Les mandé un examen por ahí. No sé si tuvieron el chance de verlo. Did you have the opportunity to see the exam? Yo okay. lo vi, pero no lo hice. Okay, you have the chance. You can do it as any time. You can do it. You can do it in any moment. So uh, check it out, right? Please check it, and later on you can see it. It's about Ken and Kent, right? Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. And for sure, if you have the chance to actually do it later on, check it, okay? So today we are going to finish working with our uh, things to do. And we are going to send the report of the platform. We're going to check it as well, right? So here we have what we were doing yesterday. Yesterday, we were talking about abilities and talents, right? This is something that we did yesterday. Eso lo estuvimos trabajando el día de ayer, right? The different conversation about abilities and good things that you can do. And for sure, I was explaining you the grammar, right? The grammar for this, that is very simple. And it says, I can sing, I can act, I can swim, I can dance, right? This is what I was doing with you yesterday. And... I was going to practice a little bit on this today. So we are going to practice some sentences with can for abilities. What are the things that you can do very well? So you say, I, and here you can have, for example, the subject of the sentence, right? The subject, then you can have can or can't, depending if it is affirmative or negative. And then you have the complement, right? Then you have the complement of the sentence. I am going to make this one a little bit bigger. Voy a hacer esto un poquito más grande para que lo podamos ver. And in this one, okay, I will have it here. The subject plus can or can't. And here we have the complement, right? Plus the complement. And I need to make this here bigger. The complement. Good. So if we write a sentence following this structure, we can use things like, for example, she, she can, dance very well, right? She can dance very well. And if you are talking about yourself, you can say, I can cook many dishes, 
puedes, puedes cocinar muchos platillos. What is another ability that you have people? ¿Qué es otra habilidad o talento que ustedes pueden hacer? So you can give me more examples. I can, what? What is an ability that you have? I can say this one. I can speak English. I have one. I can speak English. Give me abilities that you have. ¿Qué habilidades tienen ustedes? I can drive a car, ride a horse, dance, swim, eh, I don't know, organize the house, cook, use WhatsApp, use Excel. What abilities do you have? ¿Qué habilidades tienen? A ver. Ni una, no creo. Think about things that you can do very well. ¿Qué cosas pueden hacer? Good night, teacher. Hello. Uh, I, I can, I can dance. Ah. I can dance. Good. I can dance. When, 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 uh, yo era, yo era joven. <laughs> ah, but that, that is past tense, but that is another type of a structure, right? Esa es otra estructura que la vamos a estudiar más adelante. Dice, oh. like, I can dance, I can dance. That's a good sentence, ah. right? Puedo bailar. I can, I can dance. dance. Because in this one, we have, for example, I could, I could dance when I was young, all right? I could dance when I was young, right? Yo pude bailar o podía bailar cuando estaba joven. Okay. What is another one? I saw a, a hand up. Vi una manita levantada. ¿De quién era? Yo. Okay, Roxy, tell me. Uh, I can play uh, the piano very nice. Wow, I can play the piano. Really? ¿De yes. <gasps> wow, I can play the piano really well. Nice. Any other ability? What do you say, teacher? Costura, coser, eh, ah. modista, o algo así. Ah, very good. I can, I can sew clothes. Sew. I can oh. sew clothes. Puedo coser, puedo hacer ropa. Or you can say, I can design clothes. Si la puede hacer desde cero, con diseño y todo, you say, I can design clothes. Con medidas, patrones, etc. Right? I can design clothes. Nice. Ajá. Ya van saliendo las habilidades. Me gusta. What else? I can... Uh, Wendy, your ability? What is your ability, Wendy? For sure, you live, you live with that. I uh -huh. can decorate. I can Very decorate. Well. Oh, hey, that's so, that's so nice, right? I can decorate. What else? I can read, teacher. I can read. I can read, right? That's good. I can read. That's an ability. Many people can't. Okay. What else? I can listen. I can listen, right? But that's that's more like an ability, like a human ability. Abilities, I call it, to things that you learn to do. Hay cosas que aprendemos a hacer. For example, uh, when you say, I can prepare cakes, I can cook, I can uh, make tamales, I can make pupusas. That's an ability, right? That you have to learn how to do it. It's not that, ah, one day it's like, ah, I can do tamales, right? No, you have to learn. It's a process. Like on a bicycle, can you ride a bicycle? Who can ride a bicycle? Raise your hand. Yeah. Who can ride a bicycle? Okay, Wendy can. Who else? I can. Okay, you can. Roberto, can you ride a bicycle? Era conductora temerari. <laughs> uh -huh. Roberto, can you drive a bicycle? Can you ride a bicycle? Uh, bicycle. Bicycle. Bicicleta. 
Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I can. Sí. Can you can. drive? Yes. Can you drive a car, Roberto? Yes, sí. yes. yes. What about the rest yes. of the ladies? Can you drive a car? Cynthia, Sandrita, Mireya, can you drive a car? No. Yes. Okay, Mireya can drive a car. Roxana, yes. Yes. Good. Wendy, can you drive a car? Yes. Okay. Violeta, can you drive a car? Yes, teacher. Wow. Jamilet, can you drive a car? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a problem, right? Yeah. One thing is that you can drive it, and another thing is that you have a, a car to drive. So, anyway. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. So, Let's continue here. So this is the form. This is the structure of the sentences, right? I can or I can't. Tell me one thing that you can't do. Tell me one thing that you can't do. I cannot sing. I can't sing, right? I can't sing. I can't sing. I can't sing. Things that you can't do. What is another thing that you can do? Que es algo que no pueden hacer. I can't uh, drive. I can't drive. Drive. I can't drive. Okay, another thing that you can't do. I can cook tamales. No I no can't volver. I can't cook tamales. That makes two of us, right? Aquí ya somos dos. I can't I, I can sing. I can't well we have it there. I can't sing. I can't light I can't fly a plane. Yo no puedo volar un avión. I can't fly a plane. For example, <laughs> abilities that I don't have. I can swim. You can't swim. Oh my god. <laughs> we have to be careful. Oh my God, I cannot swim. That's difficult, right? That's a difficult thing, right? I can't swim. That is another form, right? That's another thing. I can't swim. Another one. What is something else that you can't do? Can you play the guitar? I can't. You say, I can't play the guitar, right? I can't play the guitar. And let me see. Can you ride a motorcycle? Can you ride a motorcycle? Pueden andar en motocicleta? Can you ride a motorcycle? I can't. I can't. So only bicycle. Only, only, only bicycle. <laughs> only bicycle. bicycle. Only uh, bicycle, bicycle, but not a motorcycle. I can't ride a motorcycle, right? I can't ride a motorcycle. So that is the form. That is the structure of the sentences with I can and I can't, right? This is for the negatives and this is for the affirmatives. The subject can and the verb, right? In this case, we have, for example, here, I can cook many dishes. I can't sing, right? That is the same structure, just the one that changes for the negative, it's with NT, can't. And for the affirmatives, can, right? So let's go back here. Let's go back to the examples that we have on the book, right? Yesterday, I show you these pictures. And we're going to classify them between can and can't. So in the first picture, look at this Picasso that she has here. Look at this beautiful Picasso. And it says, I can't draw. It's like, I can't draw. I but what about number two? I can. I can act, right? In this case, it's affirmative. It's affirmative because you can see the lady that she's singing in a very beautiful way. So she said, <laughs> I can act. I can. I can act. Can you act? I can act. This is the form of the question. 
Can you act? Yes, I can. Wow, my early nice. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can do it too. I can act. Okay. Can you act? Oh, ooh, uh, uh, no. <laughs> what about the next one? Do you think that she can sing or can't sing? I can't. Why do you say, look at the men? <laughs> I can't <laughs> sing, right? I can't sing. What will be the question? ¿Cómo haríamos la pregunta? Can you sing? Can you sing? Can you sing, right? Can you sing? That would be the question. What about the next picture? Look at them. Look at the lady right here. What would be the sentence for her? I. I can. I can fix cars because she's like, yay, right? Super cute, right? I can fix cars. What could be the question for this one? Can, can, can you, you, you fix cars? Can you fix cars? Is the question for you ladies and boys. Can you fix cars? I can't fix cars. I can't. Who can fix cars? Can. ¿Quién, ¿Quién puede arreglar carros? Roberto? I can. can you fix cars? I, I can't. I can't. Okay. <laughs> For the rest, no. Al mechanic. <laughs> Who can fix cars? The mechanic teacher. <laughs> because I can't. <laughs> Good. Let's go with the next pictures that we have here. In these ones, the pictures that we have here. And, okay, good. Okay, thank you, Damisela, for letting me know. Let's go here on the next pictures. They are playing tennis. Do you think that they are doing it fine? Lo están haciendo bien? What about this one? They are playing tennis. And it says, I can't. I can't, right? I can't play tennis. Okay, my God, I wrote two things. I can't play tennis. What about number six? I can't. I can't ice skate very well, right? I can't ice skate very well. Number seven. Can. I can. I can play the piano, right? I can play the piano. And the last one, my poor lady in the kitchen. I can't. I can't cook I can't. at all, right? I can't cook at all. It's like, no, teacher. I cannot do it, right? I can't cook at all. Excellent. So based on this one, we are going to go over the next example, right? Can and can't. Here, different abilities that we have. Let me make this one smaller and I'm going to move it right here. Here, we have different types of abilities, musical or artistical, technical or mechanical, athletic abilities, and others. If we classify them in different categories, the ones that we have in the list, si clasificamos todas estas en las cuatro categorías, how would you make it? How would you classify it? Bake a cake. Bake a cake, it is considered other type of abilities, right? General abilities. But design a web page, what type of ability do you think it is? Design a web page, diseñar una página web. Technical. What? It's technical, right? It's a technical or mechanical ability. Do gymnastics? What type of ability is that one? Athletic. It's athletic, right? That's athletic. Fix a car? Fix a car? What type of ability is that one? Technical or mechanical. Technical or mechanical, right? Here you have fix a car. Fix a car. What about fix a motorcycle? Technical or mechanical. Technical. 
technical or mechanical, right? Fix a car. Mm -hmm. and yes. Fix a motorcycle. What about the next one? Paint pictures. Musical or artistic. Artistic. Paint pictures, right? Musical or artistical. Play chess. Play chess, jugar ajedrez. Yeah. Artistical, athletic. mechanical, Artistica. athletic. Athletic. Artistic. Athletic. Other. Play chess. It's other, right? It's other, other. type of play chess. Porque, yeah, aquí no es como atlético. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. <laughs> not playing chess, right? It's not possible. Okay. <laughs> play the violin. Musical. musical. Musical, right? Play the violin. What about, oh, I didn't write. Right. Play the violin. Okay, me comí la. Play the violin. The next one, ride a horse. Athletic. Athletic, right? This is athletic. Ride a horse. The next one, sing English songs. Musical. <laughs> Musical, right? Sing English songs. That's my ability, definitely. That's my ability. Sing English songs. What about surf? Athletic. Athletic, right? This is an athletic ability. Mm. Surf. And tell good jokes. Good joke. Tell good jokes. What is the meaning of jokes? Huh? What is the meaning? Bromas, oh, right? Okay, Aida Misela, you are writing on my page. Design a web page. And what was the first one? Bake a cake. We have it. <laughs> Hello, don't worry. Uh, do gymnastics. I am going to write it here. And the last one, tell good jokes is in others, right? Decir buenos chistes. Tell good jokes. <laughs> Tell good jokes. And I am going to ask you different questions. Le voy a hacer diferentes preguntas a cada uno de ustedes. Wendy, can you play chess? Can you play chess? Uh -huh. I can't. I can't. So you say, no teacher, I can't. Please, uh -huh. Yes, I can. That's very good. So you say, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Very good. Sandra Beatriz, can you do gymnastics? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Very good. Novia, can you paint pictures? Yes, I can. Excellent. Mireya, can you play the violin? Uh, can't. No. <laughs> I, I can't. So you say, no, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay, let's see. Mr. Okay, I saw Daniel. Daniel. Can you sing Hello. can you sing English songs? Permítame. Don't worry, don't worry. ¿Cómo me dijo? Can you sing English songs? Puedes cantar canciones en inglés. Sing English songs? No. <laughs> no, I can't. Mr. Roberto, can you ride a horse? No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay. Uh, let me see. Vilma Morejón, can you tell good jokes? Puedes contar buenos chistes? Can you tell good jokes? No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay. Let's see, Veronica Elizabeth, welcome. Can you fix a car? No, I can't. No, Ana Yamilet, can you bake a cake? No, I can't. <laughs> Who can bake a cake? No. <laughs> Who? Who can bake a cake? ¿Quién puede? Who can bake a cake? ¿Quién puede hornear pasteles? Only me. <laughs> my song <laughs> your song okay your song can bake cakes very good let's see who can uh, play the
play the violin? Who can play the violin? No, only the piano. And who can uh, surf? Surf. No one, right? I think no one can. Only the people from La Libertad and from El Tunco Beach, they can do it, right? They can uh, surf. Very good. So we are going to do our final, uh, our final thing that we're going to do here. It is so sad. Let me see. Let me share my screen with you. And I'm going to share the next one. I will stop this one because I am going to share the other one. And here I go. Hey, many people are connected now. We are going to check here. Wait, my guy, I lost the page. Here it is. What are the things that you can do to improve your English? If you want to improve your English, you can, okay, if you want to improve your English, you can do all these things. So these are things that you can do to improve your English. If you want to improve your English, you can set a goal, right? What is the meaning of set a goal? Marcarse una meta. You can set a goal if you want to improve your English. Si quieren mejorar su inglés, these are the things that you can do. And you say, I can, okay? I can set a goal. I can find a routine. Do you have a routine to practice English, people? Tienen una rutina para practicar su inglés? No? Yes? Creándola. You, okay, if you don't have it, you have to make it, right? Si aún no la tienen, la tienen que hacer. Those are the things that you can do. And the next one, what is the next thing that you can do? You can make mistakes, right? Because if not, you are not going to learn. You can practice a lot. What is the next thing that you can do? Learn. Can you help me to read it? Gracias. Learn phrases, not only vocabulary, right? Not only vocabulary, you need to learn phrases. Necesitan aprenderse oraciones completas. You need to practice vocabulary. Practice vocabulary. All the vocabulary that you learn every day, you need to practice it. You need to practice vocabulary to improve. What is the next thing that you can do? Record yourself. What is the meaning of record yourself? Grabarse, right? You need to record yourself, right? On WhatsApp, on the notes, right? You can practice the paragraph, you can practice the conversations. Pueden grabar las conversaciones, pueden grabar los párrafos, pueden grabar las, los artículos de la clase. So, and you can record yourself. The next one, what is something that you can do? ¿Cuál es la siguiente cosa que podemos hacer? Read, read new words. Read new words and phrases, right? Read phrases. new words and phrases. Every time. Exactly. Every time that you get new words, you need to read them again. You need to read and record. The next one. What is the next thing that you can do? Read about, read about, the, read about the things that you like. If you like cooking, read about cooking in English. If you like soccer, read about soccer in English. If you like, I, I don't know, Hollywood people, read about them in English, right? You can do that. The next one, you can... Message. 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 Okay, be message. careful. People. Be careful between massage and message. <laughs> massage people in English. No, right? <laughs> message, message, people Fish. in English. You have your friends on the group. Tienen a sus amigos del grupo, 
write the messages in English. What is the next thing that you can do? Watch. Watch movies. movies. You can watch movies in English, English, right? In English with subtitles in English, right? Not with subtitles in Spanish, right? Si ves una película que ya la has visto muchas veces, ponerle los subtítulos en inglés. So you can get new vocabulary from it, okay? Because you know the movie, right? It's not going to affect the meaning of the movie. You can use a dictionary. You can use a dictionary. Consult a dictionary because it is important to check on new things, right? Use a dictionary and listen to the pronunciation of words. These are things that you can do to improve your English. Si no saben dónde, en, en Google, abran Google y ponen, how do you pronounce or le ponen de repente. Translator. Uh, the translator, I wouldn't recommend it, but you say oh. pronunciation of y ponen la palabra. Imagínense que quieren saber cómo se pronuncia phrases. So you say pronunciation of phrases and you do it online y lo ponen en, el, en, en Google. Pronunciation of y ponen la palabra. Pronunciation of phrases. And there you go. Google is going to give you an option, right? Google le va a dar la opción que hasta le sale una boquita para que usted vea cómo tiene que poner la boca cuando lo pronuncia. Pronunciation of and you use any of the other word that you want to know. So these are some of the things that you can do to continue improving your English people. So it is not like, I know, you have all these options, right? You, can, you have all these options to continue practicing, to continue improving, okay? So this was the topic of can and can't. Right now I am going to, first I am going to ask the list, I'm going to, Call the list, but I am going to ask you. Okay, I'm going to stop here because later you are going to read. And I am going to leave a reading here. Le voy a dejar una lectura para mientras les paso la lista. Here we go. And I am going to share it. Le voy a dejar la lectura puesta mientras paso la lista. Here we go. I need you to analyze the reading. Analícenla, analicen el párrafo. Busquen palabras nuevas. Look for new words. And I will look for the list. New words or new vocabulary. To learn English can seem difficult. Difficult. Vayan anotando las palabras nuevas. Look for new words. New vocabulary. And I will call the list. Le voy a pasar lista mientras van leyendo. Remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present. And then we are going to go and check here. Okay. Ana Leticia. Ana y Leticia. Hey, I saw Anita. What happened? No, I saw Ana y Anita. And then we are going to check on the platform. Let me see. Okay. Ana y Amilet. Present. Cynthia Marisol. Present. Daniel Edgardo. Present. Fatima Ivin. I think she wrote on the chat. Eh, Mayerle Alejandra. <laughs> Mayerly. Present. Thank you. Mayerly yeah. Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Mireya Beatriz. Mireya. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Mirna Yasmin. Present. Thank you. Ayer nos hizo falta. Ok, Nelson Efraín. Gracias, teacher. Nubia Daisy. 
Present teacher. Reina Yael. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos. Present. Rosa María. Rosa María Salazar. Let me see. Rosita, Rosita. No, we don't have Rosita. Eh, Roxana Yasmín. Present. Thank you. Sandra Beatriz. Present. Verónica. Verónica Elizabeth. Pero es que se me hizo la verita. Verito, ahí está conectado. Vilma Concepción. Vilma, Vilmita. Ok. Vilma Isabel. Present teacher. Violeta Elizabeth. Present teacher. Wendy. Here teacher. And Jennifer. I'm here. Thank you very much. Llegando, vaya, está abriendo la puerta. Okay, good. Very good. So, do you have new words or new vocabulary that you want to, to check? Palabras nuevas, vocabulario nuevo. Teacher, what's the meaning of? Um, however, however. However, sin however. embargo, sin embargo. Oh. So It's maybe. Them. Which one? Show me Evan. Okay, Show let me see. Let's see. Show me them. Uh, some, even. Oh, some, even, right? Algunos, even. algunos even. hasta. Algunos hasta escriben palabras y oraciones. Any other one? However, However sin embargo. Any other one? Spend. Spend, spend is ¿Sí? pasar, pasar, spend time is, is uh, pasar tiempo. Spoken. Sí. Spoken, spoken es hablado, hablado. Hablado. Yeah, present perfect, es el presente perfecto. Hablado. What is useful? And it says useful. Okay, useful, yes. útil. Gracias. Uh -huh. Sim. Sim, parece. Okay. Le learning English can seem difficult at first. Puede parecer difícil al principio. ¿De sooner o sooner? Sooner, sooner. ¿Sooner? Tan pronto. Gracias. So, say sooner or later. Tarde o temprano. Sooner or later. Sooner or later. You say sooner, sooner. It's like pronto. pronto. The sooner you, the sooner ah, you the can point. start effective communication with other English speakers. Okay. The, the words and phrases, phrases, phrases. phrases. Other things. Other things. Other things. Other things. Otras cosas. Otras. Other things. Let's go here. And in this one, I am going to start reading and I am going to be marking the ones that I consider that are difficult. Right? English, learning English can seem difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. Hasta aquí vamos bien. We have, it's okay with this phrase. Can we understand? ¿Entendemos la primera parte del párrafo? Yes, inglés. Sí, sure. Learning English can seem difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. But, mommy, yeah, vamos bien ahí. It says, but most importantly, most importantly, it takes a lot of practice. Many people spend time memorizing words. Uh, memorizing is memorizándose. Mucha gente pasa tiempo memorizándose palabras. Many people spend time memorizing works out of books. 
de los libros, right? Memorizando sus palabras de los libros. Some even write words, some, algunos, porque estamos hablando de many people. Many people spend time memorizing works out of books. Some even write words and sentences on paper. However, sin embargo, right? Until you make the language useful to yourself, útil para ti, it will never become a part of you, right? Hasta que lo hagamos parte de nosotros, nunca. Es hasta que lo hagamos parte de nosotros, hasta ahí lo vamos a ver útil. Doing all these, all those other things, doing all those other things, hacer todas estas otras cosas, eh, are okay as long as you are also spending time speaking the language. You are spending time speaking the language. Que gastes tu tiempo practicando el idioma. And trying to communicate with others. When you use the words and phrases you have learned, when you use the words and phrases you have learned to communicate with others, the language becomes more natural for you to learn. Okay? Also, you are able to hear, also you are able to hear how English speakers answer you. So you will know now the language, you will know how the language sounds. Vas a saber cómo suena. You will know how the language sounds when it is spoken. Como suena cuando es hablado. Other good tips on learning a new language are to listen to as much of it as you can. To listen to as much of it as you can. Being spoken by native English speakers. So you can find videos of native English speakers. Turn on the radio and sing along songs in English. Canten canciones in English, but with the lyrics, right? Con la letra, con la letra. Watch television shows, watch television shows that are spoken in English and try to follow along to understand what is going on in the story. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the sooner you can start effective communication with other English speakers. Lo más, lo, Mientras más te metas al idioma, más pronto vas a encontrar, pues, obviamente, esa comunicación efectiva con otros English speakers. So, the paragraph in general is about learning English. What are the things that you can do to learn English? Okay, so I wanted just to show you, right? A big paragraph. Do you get the idea of the paragraph? Pueden captar la idea principal del párrafo? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. So that was my main purpose, right? And I am going to leave it there. Se lo voy a limpiar y se lo voy a pasar para que lo puedan practicar. Let me send it to you. Se lo voy a enviar para que en estos tres días libres lo puedan practicar. <laughs> In these three days off, you can practice. Feliz día del padre. You're going to practice your English. O sea, a mí sí, ya está, ya está formado el otro grupo. I think, yes. Okay. Yo creo que sí. Y usted lo va a tener. I hope. Que estamos ahí. <laughs> <laughs> Espero. Es que como acuérdense que los grupos se van formando, depende las inscripciones que van haciendo. ¿verdad? Por eso les decía yo, inscríbanse rápido. Espero que sí. Espero que sí. El grupo casi nunca cambia, pero... Espero que sí estemos todos juntos y pues obviamente tener el placer de volverles a servir a ustedes va a ser súper nice. For me, it will be a pleasure. Para mí, un placer. So, let's finish with the platform. Vamos a terminar con la plataforma. Yo sé que ya muchos de ustedes la terminaron, pero siempre me gusta ir a darme una última vuelta por la plataforma para ver que todo esté completo. So, it is important. Sí, sí, yo, o sea, que es la última clase. Yes. Esta... De este módulo. 
de este módulo conmigo. Adiós, okay. adiós, amigo, adiós. No, La vamos a extrañar, teacher. No, I hope that I will be together with you. Yo espero, espero de veras tener la suerte de estar con ustedes de vuelta. I know. I thank you very much. It's because I know that good good teachers are the result of good students. Wow. Los, los buenos maestros son el resultado de los excelentes alumnos. So, if you are very constant, I can see your effort. Yo veo su esfuerzo, veo cuánto se esfuerzan por hacerlo, lo bien que lo hacen, lo constantes que son. So, que no merecen menos, definitivamente. No merecen entonces, nada menos. la volvemos a merecer entonces. Exactly like that. I hope, I hope to see you there, right? Yo estoy así, cruzando los deditos. Que el lunes lo vuelvo a encontrar aquí conectado. Ya yes. puedes otros, otros así de buen portado. No, no ay, no. No, oh, júrelo que no. Se son el ejemplo, los angelitos del grupo. No, you, you are very good students. I really admire, I really admire your dedication because that is something crucial for this. I know it's difficult in sometimes to connect, right? A veces cuesta el hecho de conectarse, el hecho de ser constante con la hora and everything. And I do admire because for sure it is not easy to be here. Nadie, nadie va a estar así como, ah, y sí, a las nueve, quiero recibir clase. Pero la constancia es lo que los hace estar aquí. Y eso es lo importante. If you are constant, if you want to do the things, take advantage of this. And I always say, si ya empezó, no se detengan. Because... Later on, you are going to say, ah, yo hubiera terminado aquel curso que empecé. No, right. If you start, finish. Because later in life, you are going to say, ay, miren, mis compañeros hasta allá terminaron el curso. Si yo hubiera seguido, ya hubiera terminado. Please continue, right? I have a friend that has been four years. Tengo un amigo que tiene cuatro años. Empieza básico, lo deja. Empieza básico, lo deja. Empieza básico, lo deja. Yo le digo hasta maestría de inglés llevar allá. <laughs> Because it's, it's perseverance, right? You have to be always constant. Okay? Cuando no se quiera conectar, ese día conéctese más temprano. Cuando tenga sueño, ese día conéctese a tiempo. Porque es el enemigo que lo quiere jalar. <laughs> que no haga las cosas. Ya. Yeah. And in some cases, it's here. El peor enemigo lo tenemos aquí adentro. No te conectes, hombre. Vamos a acostarnos. <laughs> Qué calor. Pon el ventilador. Anda, bañate. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. So please be perseverant. Right? If you start, finish. Right? And if you are as good as you are with me, be nice with another teacher. Right? Si me los quitan y me los ponen con otro teacher, sean igual de buenos o mejores. So, <laughs> I don't want to cry. No, I, I, I am sure. I am sure that I, I hope that I am going to continue working with you because it will be nice, right? Le llevaría como muy bien el, el, el proceso que lleva. I am trying to open the platform and this thing is taking forever, right? La plataforma tiene como por siempre y no se apura. So, you can advance with me. Please open your platform and I need you to send me a picture of the progress. Necesito que me envíen una foto de su progreso en la plataforma. O la parrita de la plataforma, del progreso. That's what I need. I need a picture of that. So please, on the platform, I need you to check on the progress and send me a picture of that. Okay, send me a picture of the progress so I can see that you finish with everything, okay? Envíenme una foto de su progreso. Okay, here you have Danny. Complete, you say. Perfect, Danny. Perfect. That's what I need. Jamilet, okay, Jamilet. We have a couple of exercises that are missing. Por ahí tenemos unos ejercicios a medias todavía, Jamie. Podemos terminar esos que hemos dejado en 80, los que hemos dejado en 90. So we can have a total development of the platform. Okay. So I need all the rest to send me the picture. Así como me la enviaron sus compañeros, I need you to send me the picture, please, of your progress. Be okay. 
I have here. Okay, okay. Porfa, si no tienen su nombre en WhatsApp, póngamelo, porfa. Porque aquí tengo. Okay, after Yamilet. ¿Quién me lo envió después de Yamilet? Verónica, no. Jael. Oh, thank you very much. Reina Cintia, complete. Isa. Isa, me has dejado un ejercicio de la unidad 3 todavía sin terminar. So that's what I need. I need you to send me that so we can check that everything is complete. Damisela, it's done. Violeta, it's done. Wendy Lisette, it's done. Okay, good, very good. Jamilet, Ardon, it says. Okay, Jamilet. Tenemos en la sección tres, uno que está medias. What is the problem, Jami? ¿Cuál es el ejercicio que has dejado a medias? Section number three. Eh, no sé si me permite, voy a buscar porque la verdad no me acuerdo. Yes, because it, there is one. Lo has dejado uno y en las cinco has dejado uno en medio. Bueno, pero. Okay, I need you to check that one. If you need a specific help with one, let me know. Quiero ver por aquí. Okay, Isa, ¿cuál es el que has dejado en medio? Ahorita se lo busco, teacher. Please, para que te quede al 100%. Sandrita, complete. Good. So the idea is that you have it all in 100. Que todas les queden en 100%. Eso es lo que, lo que busco. Okay. So that it's important, right? That you have it all complete. And if we can finish, for sure, I can help you with that. Okay. My early, thank you very much. I have it. Who's this one? Roberto Carlos, thank you. Everything on 100. Which one? Sorry? A mí no me falta. Jennifer Damisela, no, everything is complete. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me see. Sandrita, Jamilet, Wendy, Violeta, no, Jennifer Damisela, it's everything on 100. Todos están al 100%. Solo cuando vemos barritas que no están cabal al, al tope, ahí es donde tenemos que poner atención. Ok, 100. There you go. So, uh, that is, that it's important, right, to keep it all complete. So, let's just finish the last exercises on the last unit for us to practice because many of you have already finished. And just to practice the last topic that we were doing, we are going to go to the questions on section number five. I continue receiving your pictures, don't worry. Okay. So in this one, we were practicing Ken and Kent, right? And I am going to check on here, okay. This is the ones that we do it. These are the ones that we did on the, on the pictures, right? Right now, right? These ones, we did them in class. Esto lo hicimos en clase. So there is no problem with this one. And for sure, for this unit, I have another one here that it's about the readings, right? And in these ones, we have different abilities on readings. This is going to prepare you for the next module, okay? Aquí tenemos números grandes que nos ayudan a leerlos. And I wanted to do this, the final practice with all of you. Listen to the pronunciation of the reading, okay? Listen to the pronunciation of the reading. And it says, climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. 1,575. If you have these big numbers, for example, like this one, that you have 1,575, here we go. You read 
piece by piece. And you say 1,000, right? That it's the first one. 500, that it's the hundreds. 75. Okay, the first one that you read is the thousands, right? El primero que van a leer son los miles. 1,000, they seguimos con las centenas. 500, and the number. 1,575. How would you read this one? ¿Cómo leerían esto? ¿Cómo leeríamos este número? 2,432. 2, 2, 2,432. What about this one? Uh -huh. 7,111. Very good. Yes. 7,111. How would you read this one? Uh -huh. I have it bigger. How would you read that one? 785. It's a comma. How would you read this one? Uh huh. One million. One million. One hundred twenty thousand. <laughs> In this case, one million. One hundred twenty thousand. One hundred thirty. Okay, these are bigger numbers. Vayanse preparando para el otro nivel. Ahí van a ver números grandes. But in this one, we have one thousand five hundred seventy-five. One thousand fifty. Right. This is the first reading. Let's go to the next reading in this one. It says, take eight or 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire US in these 2,900 miles, 4,667 kilometers, bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep for eight to 10 days. Racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Poor racers. ¿Podrían hacer esta carrera de ocho días en bicicleta? Maybe not. <laughs> so yeah, this I is, can't. <laughs> I can't, right? That's a very difficult thing. And the next one, it's on the river. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the downtown river race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers in just two hours. This is the longest downed river race in the US. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Would you go down a river in 20, 41.5 kilometers? ¿Se fueran 41 kilómetros río abajo en un bote? No, I, I wouldn't do it. It's like, thank you, but no thank you. I wouldn't do that one. And I think we have the last one and it says, only possible in Alaska. The either Ida Road Sleep Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. Would you like to go on the snow for 1,850 kilometers in la nieve? <laughs> nah, maybe not. ¿Le gustaría irse en esta carrera? 1850 kilómetros en la nieve. Maybe not. <laughs> right? <laughs> it is it's kind of difficult, right? Kind of difficult to think about it. So, these are different big numbers that you need to practice. In general, what do you need to be ready for in the next level? ¿Para qué se tienen que preparar el siguiente nivel? And I need you to have it in mind. 
past tense. I need you to get ready with past tenses, right? This is something that you need to start investigating. Para que nos vamos a preparar para el próximo nivel, investigate verbs in past. Okay? You can take these days. Pueden tomar estos días que tenemos ahorita para irlos investigando. Verbs in past. There are many types of verbs. For example, when you say eat, ate, right? Comio, comer, comí, you say. This is another thing. Or that you say, uh, listen, listened, right? Regular and irregular verbs. Here we have two types, right? Regular and irregular. That is extra homework that I am going to assign. Regular and irregular verbs in past. Investigate. They are going to be very useful for the next module. Yeah. A los que se le agregan ED, those are regular verbs. And the other ones are irregular verbs. So please investigate about that. Investiguen eso. Le va a servir un montón. Si no me va a decir, ay, la teacher me hubiera dicho. I am doing it. So please try to investigate that. I really, really hope to see you on the next module. Continue practicing, continue developing. For me, it has been a big pleasure to serve you. Para mí ha sido un placer servirles. Y si les puedo seguir sirviendo, that would be a big pleasure. So continue working. If you need anything, if you have any question, send me a message, right? And I will be more than glad to help you. Please investigate past tenses, okay? Le van a servir un montón. So please read. Hay muchas páginas, hay muchas yes. prácticas. So please continue studying, right? No encontré el ejercicio si lo puedo enviar luego. Dice. Yes. So my dear students, I really appreciate your time. Have a wonderful night. And I'm going to see you on the next module for another class. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, thanks to you. I really enjoy this night. Cada clase. Thank, Thank you. you. Disfruté. Cada día lo disfruté mucho. Gracias. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> Espero <laughs> seguirlo disfrutando con ustedes. Thank you, my dear yes. students. Bye -bye. I love you a lot. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye. Very good. Bye, bye.